Hi, and welcome to our weekly devotional in English. This week's theme is Death and Life. This is your time to breathe and dedicate to the Lord. God is here. You are here. I am here. We're here together. Today's text from the Bible can be found in the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 28 to 44. We're using the New International Version. I will be reading uh, a part, uh, our text twice, part of it a little bit slower to give time for reflection. After she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. The teacher is here, she said, and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews, who had been with Mary in the house, comforting her, noticed how quickly she got up and went out. They followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to mourn there. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? he asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he's been there for four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man, came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. So now I will read uh, the second part of this once again. But now a question for reflection of this text. The text from the Bible is describing a very physical event. We can see it as a physical resurrection of a dead man and that of a Jesus having the power to do this miracle in a physical world. But is there something more? A deeper spiritual truth? Let us listen again. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him. She fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. 
where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Jesus once more, deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Let us pray. God, help us to hear what you want to tell us. Open our eyes so that we see the life you give us after life on earth. Let heaven grow strong in our hearts. And now we can pray together the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord's face shine on us with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, we here in Ljusnasberg Congregation wish you a great week. Until we meet again.